Start out here in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32 through 36. The Word of God, the King James Bible says, Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. I'd like to comment about this uh, very evil satanic woman, um, Marina Abram Abramovic. If I'm pronouncing that right, and if I'm not, I don't really care. I'm not really worried about offending her. Uh, she has been appointed uh, by Zelensky, the Jewish pervert in Ukraine, as, quote, the ambassador of Ukraine to rebuild educational institutes. Okay, yeah. Um, if you don't know who this witch, this satanic a uh, horrible monster is um, she is involved in all sorts of extreme levels of perversion and um, ritual sacrifice and things like that I mean she did this uh, I forget what the thing was called now it's slipping my mind this uh, feast or something like this and it was Basically, she's writing on the wall with blood and everything. And, oh, don't worry, it's just pig blood. But she's talking about sacrificing people and, and whatever else. Just dark, dark, twisted woman. And I don't know when this whole thing got started. But I saw it back when I was in the art world. And it was this thing of, you know, the Athenians in the Bible. The book of Acts chapter 17. About they spent their time in nothing else but to hear or tell some new thing. And so, in the art world... You can come along and you can be a really wonderful uh, scenery painter. Paint beautiful scenes like this. And, well, we, that, we've seen that before. You know, we want to see something new. Something that hasn't been done before. And I was told that. You need to come up with something that's uniquely you. You're a very talented wood turner. Um, you do great work. Technically, your work is excellent. But you have to come up with something that is different, that sets you apart from everybody else. Um, the problem with that is, there are a lot of people that came into the art world that actually have no real talent. They don't have the ability to, to mentally envision what they're doing and make a accurate representation of what's in their brain. Okay, coming out here and looking at the leaves on the trees. I remember my grandfather, um, Milton Denlinger, he was an artist actually had a, a job offer from Walt Disney when Walt Disney wanted him to be a scene painter because my gr grandfather was very talented and um, but he was he was very um, I don't know what the word would be but he would just come out and he would meditate on on uh, what God created and my grandfather was a saved man so he wasn't new agey or whatever else but he'd come out and he would just stand there and he would just look at scenes and he would look at uh, I remember the story the one time he was standing there just looking at a tree and my mother came out and she said you okay grandpa you know whatever and he said look at the leaves they're changing colors and he just would stand there and just watch in all of God's creation and uh, his paintings were beautiful they some of them looked almost like photographs and um, just about simple farm life about the way life was in the early 1900s here in America when my grandfather would have been a boy and um, he died back in 1991 so he's been gone for a while now but uh, he was a very talented artist and he used to get so upset because he would go to art shows and there'd be some freak there that uh, put a bunch of paint drops on a canvas and then called it some you know inspired deviation number six or something you know and you know, wow whoa you know, and if you look at the work of Jackson Pollock, you know, I think a guy's name is, you know, he's poking holes in paint cans and, you know, putting on, splashing paint on the canvas and people go, wow, he's a genius. <laughs> no, he's a talentless uh, psychopath. And this uh, Marina Abramovic, 
or Mabrovovich or whatever, however you say it, um, she's also talentless. She's also a talentless Satanist. Um, look at me. My talents in art and performance art are uh, mental psychosis. Uh, let me just uh, do blood ritual stuff and do all kinds of weird things and stand there and let people do weird stuff to me and all kinds of perversion. And I saw, read a little bit about her and she said she had three different abortions uh, as a way of per doing performance art. Uh, her damnation is just. Uh, again, you have to understand that. If you, if you look at God and, and you look at the Bible and you say, why would a loving God torture people for all of eternity? Well, because he knows everything that's in people. And I realize that uh, not everybody's on that level of evil, this marina whatever devil. Not everybody's that bad, I get it. You know, you could make those arguments. But the whole point is, God knows the thoughts of man. He will judge every man for their secrets. So, but I have a theory. Why would they appoint this woman? I mean, even if you want to just say, oh, you know, it's a right wing, I'm reading all this stuff, you know, right wing conspiracy theorists said that she's worshiping Satan and things, you know. And there's pictures of her standing beside uh, Lord Nathan Rothschild and, and, there's, and behind them there's a painting of Satan, you know, gathering his host together or something like this. Yeah, she's not a devil worshiper. No, no, she's just a, she's an atheist. That's all she is. The atheists don't worship the devil. Uh, yeah, they do. Uh, maybe not openly, but uh, you look at the philosophy, he can be as gods knowing good and evil. That's what atheists are. They're philosophically, they are Luciferians. Just the way it is. I've done a video on that. But even if you're some kind of a foolish atheist and you just say, oh, right wing conspiracy, I'm a, I'm a left winger, whatever. Oh, this is so stupid. Oh, radical fanatic Christian. Oh, this is just nonsense. Okay, then let me ask you a question. If you're going to have an ambassador come to a country that is at war and a lot of people are suffering and you need to have, you know, for educational purposes or something like this, uh, why would you pick a performance artist? Uh, I don't think she has any experience in politics of any kind. But that's right, because Zelensky is a performance artist as well. And also another pervert. Um, and God's okay with this. Uh, God's okay with the, the what's going on over there in Ukraine, and it's a godly nation, and we should, you know, hang out the little flag, and we support, we stand in solidarity with, solidarity with Ukraine. Uh, I stand, stand in solidarity with Russia. I hope that Russia cleans their clock. I hope they take back the land that's rightfully theirs. And I hope that they kick that little Jewish devil out of there, Zelensky. And uh, hopefully the, that harlot, satanic whore, uh, this Marina Abravum, Abravum, whatever her name is. I can never say it. Probably some spiritual thing there that I can't say her satanic wicked name. But uh, I hope that they take her out as well. Wouldn't that be nice? You know, <laughs> hear about something, there was a strike on the such, such and such building and... And Mar Marina, the the witch there, she gets taken out. Well, praise the Lord. That'd be nice. Uh, you say, well, brother Brian, we should be concerned for her soul. Oh, you know. Um, the whole soul winning thing, I'm all for witnessing, preaching the gospel to people. But you know what? I'm also for judgment of sin. And there has to be judgment for sin. And this... This warped mindset that we should never judge somebody, we should never judge sin, we should never say that this is evil. She needs to be put to death for what she's done, for de destroying people's minds and perverting things and uh, perverting judgment, turning nations into something wicked that God is, has to judge. Um, well, we should never do that. It should always just be, let's just pray for her as she continues on her evil path, as she continues to mess up people's heads, as she continues to celebrate death because she hates God. Don't ever pray for her judgment. No, no, we can't do that. We should be concerned for her soul. She has no concern for her soul. She gave up on that. She seared her conscience. She's been turned over to a reprobate mind. And uh, she has no desire to come back from that. Don't even tell me, oh, you don't know that, brother. Oh, come on, please. I mean, I can't even get into some of the dark, twisted stuff that that woman has done. You know, she's into mind control stuff. She 
goes and works on these Hollywood actors and and whatever else. I think um, I think that there might be a video about that her on uh, Stranger Than Fiction's channel. Um, if you're watching that brother, if you're watching this video, brother, um, if you could say what that video is or something, if I have that correct, I remember I saw um, somebody had a video about her. I think it was on your channel, uh, brother. But uh, um, it's you know it's dark. It's really bad stuff and whatever. But um, you know the for the people out there that are newly saved and you know still messing around with Hollywood, uh, you better. I would suggest going to Stranger Than Fiction's channel and uh, watching some of the videos. He doesn't censor. It's you know speech or whatever in terms of the profanity and whatever. It's just hardcore between the face. Boom. Here you go. This is how bad it really is. Uh, the people that are that you worship, you know, these celebrities over there, out there in in uh, Hollywood, they're Satanists. They worship the devil. If you don't know about that, uh, spend some time vexing yourself and get getting to know the fact that these people are just completely evil. I mean, unreal. But if you're watching or if you know which video it is, I was trying to think of what it was. Couldn't remember what it was, where he had some stuff about this woman, showing that uh, she was um, doing mind control stuff on uh, Lady Gaga or whatever. Um, but getting back to my theory, which I haven't yet spoken, um, I have a theory, okay? They take a performance artist and they put her into a sort of a governmental official position. Why would they do that? Here's my theory. I believe that they're getting ready to do a massive satanic ritual sacrifice to Satan over in Ukraine. I think that the West is going to be sending a lot of troops over there. I think it's going to be one of the theaters of operation for World War III, for kinetic warfare. Understand that uh, World War III is already occurring. It's, it's happening economically and whatever else. You know, there's war going back and forth with that. Uh, and if you think that the dollar can't be weaponized and used to tear down a country, you are quite mistaken. Um, so we already have non-kinetic warfare. In other, in other words, it's not bullets, bombs, and airplanes and tanks and whatever. It's uh, psychological operations. It's economic. It's cutting off food, cutting off medication, uh, knocking power out, things like that. That's already happening, and that's going to get a lot worse too, by the way. Just like the Bible says would happen in Matthew chapter 24, where Jesus is talking about the beginning of sorrows. We are not in the end times as far as the uh, time of Jacob's trouble, the, what people would call the Great Tribulation. We're not in that yet. Um, and it didn't happen in the first century, like some of these nuts try to say. Uh, no, it's all coming. It's all about to hit. But... Uh, what if they have this high priestess of uh, Satan and they send her over there to oversee the huge killing fields over there? 400,000 dead Ukrainian soldiers and I think 30,000 or something like that dead Russian soldiers. Um, all for what? A pointless, stupid, foolish war. Well, that's a good sacrifice to Satan. Get the young men going into war, put them into battles and things and fights that they can't win. Yeah, that's a good way to sacrifice to the devil. Young men in the prime of their youth that could have uh, families. Young men that um, could get saved and preach the gospel, make a real difference for the Lord. No, kill them off. So that's my theory. And uh, they would like to send, I remember hearing a thing about Zelensky saying that he would like to send not just the young men, but also the young girls of North America, be they Canadian or American. Send them to war. Let's send them in to fight. That's what they'd like to do. So what better thing to do than to appoint a satanic high priestess to oversee all of that stuff and just be over there offering up satanic ritual after satanic ritual as they send more young people to the killing fields and just massive death, massive slaughter. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. 
Dark times that we're living in, brethren. You say, well, I don't understand why God would do a thing like this. I just don't understand. God gives men free will. Marina Abramovic thing, whatever, uh, she had free will. Oh, you know, her parents were uh, mean to her. They didn't. They never told her that, that they loved her and whatever else. Yeah, there's other children that go through the same thing. And uh, they come out and they get saved. When my mother and father forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. The Bible talks about that. But uh, a lot of very foolish people, they go and they turn against God. Oh, bad things have happened to me. It must be God's fault. It must be that there is no God. Uh, that's foolish. Why would God allow these bad things to happen? Because He gives people free will. That's why. If there's a real God, oh, lost my balance there. If there is a real God, then uh, He wouldn't allow anything bad to happen. Well, that's nonsense. He'd have to make people into robots. That wouldn't be a loving God. It'd be like me saying to my wife, uh, hey, I love you. That's why I'm going to uh, do a lobotomy on you, basically, and I'm going to force you to do whatever I say. Is that love? No, that's not love. Uh, God loved man enough to give them a free will. Mankind has a free will. So... Dogs over here drinking water out of a rainwater catchment barrel. So that will be it for this video. Um, you will see evidence of Satan. Evidence of Satan working. Uh, whenever you say, hey, you know what, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're right. I, you know, I might be an atheist and I disagree with you, Denlinger, on a lot of things, or you're a Roman Catholic, or you're whatever. And you know, you, ha you bring up a good point. Why would they send a performance artist over there who is known for satanic ritual stuff, um, has some very strange friends and whatever. Uh, why are they sending her to Ukraine? Um, yeah, it's a problem. And to learn another lesson, too. And I'm not going to speak in a veiled way here at all. I'm going to just come right out with this. Uh, when you have rulers that now are a terror to good works, they're a terror to the good, to the righteous, don't follow them. You don't follow them. You don't do what they say. Whatever things that they come out with, they're trying to kill you. For the most part, they're going to be trying to do that. God has allowed these wicked people to come out. And it's not just Democrat. It's not the Biden administration. It's both. But God is going to allow more evil to happen. And you just simply say, no, I'm not going along with it. I'm, I'm not going to comply to what you're saying to me. That will not happen. So, please do take these things to heart, brethren. You need to wake up. There are real people in this country, or in this world, not just this country, but in this world, that do worship Satan. There are real people that will sacrifice uh, other people. They do horrible things that you can't even fathom. Again, this uh, witch, uh, I read that uh, as a younger woman, she, her hair went gray very quickly. Um, that can happen from a lot of stress. You get the, uh, a lot of the, the stress hormones and everything else, uh, cortisol levels and things like that, and they build up. It can turn your hair gray. <laughs> a little bit of stress in my life too, but uh, not from, you know, rituals and satanic practices or something like that. Uh, no, it's called being 48 years old. Um, but she's been dyeing her hair for years because uh, of the shocking, horrible, evil things that she has done, all for the sake of saying it's art. It's not art, okay? Uh, don't ever support these wicked people that call themselves artists. Just say, that's trash. Go to some art gallery and you see some paint splashed on a canvas. That's trash. That's no, there's no talent there. And if, uh, if at all possible, if you're looking for well-made things, support talented artists. That's a good thing. It's a great feeling to be able to earn a living as an artist. Like I said, I used to do it. I used to be an artist myself. And it was always nice, you know, when I'd go to a, a gallery or some art show or something, and they would, somebody would come and they would respect what I made and say, hey, I'd like to have that. I want that in my home. It's beautiful. You do excellent work, young man. I was a young man back then. I appreciated that. 
support real artists and uh, reject the fake ones that are just there to shock people. That would be my advice. And keep an eye on Ukraine because it's going to be a killing field over there. And um, you better pray about it if you're young and if they try to get you drafted or something to go over there, uh, you better not go. Okay, so that will be it and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.